Hi friends! It's really great to see you. Um, I'm sitting down in my apartment and I'm going to be reading you Rainbow Fish by Marcus Fister. Um, and friends, let's just go through a little reminder. What is this called? This big part of the book. Can anybody tell me? The cover. This is the cover of the book. And then where's the title again? Are they, is this the title? No. Um, what about these small words? Are the small words the title? No, right? This is the title of the book. The big words are usually the title of the book. And it, right here it says, The Rainbow Fish. And then the author and or the illustrator is usually, yep, that's right, the small words on the book, on the cover. Um, so let's get started. The Rainbow Fish. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer along. You can see just how sparkly Rainbow Fish is right here. But friends, is it friendly? if some of your friends want to play and you don't respond and just walk away from them? Do you think Rainbow Fish is being friendly right now? I don't think so either. But one day, a little blue fish followed, him, followed after him. Rainbow Fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? What, who do you think you are? Cried the rainbow fish. Please get away from me. <gasps> Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset. He told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when, they, when he swam by. So friends, Rainbow Fish told the little blue fish to get away from him and that he would not give him any of his scales, even though he has so many to share. Did that hurt the blue fish's feelings? Yeah, I think it did too. And then the blue fish told all of the other fishes that Rainbow Fish did not want to share with him and was not being very friendly. And so now whenever Rainbow Fish swims over, they're all swimming away from him. How do you think that's going to make Rainbow Fish feel? Yeah, let's find out. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to the deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, 
Two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. You could see his eyes right here. He's coming out from the cave to see rainbow fish. I wonder what he's going to tell him. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared in a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales? My beautiful shining scales? Never, how could I ever be happy without them? So friends, what did the octopus tell Rainbow Fish to do? Did he tell him that he should keep his scales? Or did he tell him to share? And if he shares his scales, maybe that'll make him happy. But the Rainbow Fish, he's a little bit nervous because if he gives away all of his scales, how will he feel if he doesn't have all of them left? He's a little bit nervous to see what will happen. But let's see what he does, even though he's a little bit scared. He suddenly felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered, which means he hesitated. He was a little bit unsure what to do. But only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Maybe I wouldn't miss just one. So he started off a little bit slow, started off just giving one of his scales away just to see what it would feel like. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much, the little, little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feel feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. He shared one of his glittering scales to the little blue fish. And he started to feel really good seeing him swimming along with that, that scale on him. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. It started to feel really good giving away his scales. So he gave one to this fish and he gave one to this fish and this one and this one and this one and this one. All of the fish that wanted some of his scales, he decided, you know what? I'm gonna give you some and I'm going to share. He, the rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted and happy he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. The end. So friends, remember when we read this in class and we did our scale activity when we passed out all those little pom-poms to our friends? Um, and remember how good that that felt, sharing with our friends? And we can do that at home too when we're at home playing with our toys. And if somebody, maybe mom or dad, or maybe one of your siblings wants to come play with one of your toys, you can remember that it could feel really good to share your toys with your friends. Um, and yeah, so thanks for listening to Rainbow Fish. And I wanted to also bring up that we have a fish over here. So friends, this, 
is indigo. This is our new Wonder Room classroom fish. And he's not in the Wonder Room right now. He's currently staying at my apartment where I'm taking really good care of him. And I wanted to talk about how we can all take care of him when we're back in class. So indigo really loves to be in clean water. And so uh, maybe once a week or maybe once every two weeks, we're going to be showing you guys how we can clean out his water, which takes um, a little bit of practice because at first we're going to need to empty out some of it, clean a little bit of it, and then put it back in so that indigo is nice and happy. Also, we have some fish food here. And you see how small little indigo is? He's just about this small, which means that he doesn't need a lot of fish food. We are only going to feed him two little pellets of fish food when we're all back in class. And we will have a happy little fish swimming around all the time. Um, I'm really excited to bring him to the Wonder Room and he's so excited to see all of you guys when we're back in class. Um, so yeah, thanks so much and I can't wait to see you guys soon. Bye!